At this stage, Mayor Rob Ford is the starship enterprise of public buffoonishness. He has gone crudely, foolishly, offensively, where no human mayor has gone before. Rob Ford, who had exhausted, I thought, every measure of vile behavior, vulgarity, ignorance, public drunkenness, criminal associations, temper tantrums, and epically ugly monologues laced with sexual and racial crudities of the meanest, most vicious sort, has found a way, in a perverse sense, to top himself. He hasn't gone off the deep end. He lost sight of the deep end, the wharf, and even the shoreline months ago. He's now in some singular twilight of his own creation. And as everyone knows from his brutal and scabrous language, his sexual insults, slur on gays, and even his own wife, Rob Ford has gone somewhere even Rob Ford must find strange. Any single other person would have been long gone if they said or did what Mr. Ford has said and done. But Ford has evacuated any and all standards. He is so empty of self-dignity that even the crudest words and references coming from him are weightless. He is consumed so much by his own manically egotistical world that he has no care for words or the people they hurt. Does he not care for anybody? I ask that with a particular person in mind, his brother Doug. Doug Ford, like him or not, has one undeniable virtue, family loyalty. He stood out there for his brother every single day, trying to cover, to explain, to moderate. Doug took the arrows and the scorn every single day. But this latest bizarre cruel rant, the mayor has brought his own brother Doug to tears. Not his opponents, not the Toronto Star, not the socialists, not even his supporters, but his brother. Rob, you made Doug cry. Happy? Others, you'll remember, have cried too because of you, the late Jim Flaherty. No point now appealing to him. He doesn't care anymore about Toronto, his family, or himself. And ultimately, it comes down to a great selfishness. No one else but him counts. No one else matters to the guy who once called himself a people's mayor. Well, when your own brother's in tears, your friends are scattered and depressed, when Toronto is mocked worldwide, when you've twisted your own life into some mad, bitter, adult, narcissistic drama, everything's okay because I'm a celebrity, it's so far past the time for you to go, there's no way left to measure the interval. In Toronto now, even the potholes are embarrassed. Even all those who've been loyal, who saw beneath the mess and the vulgarity something good about you, even they have had it. They're done. You're done. Resign. Resign again. And then just to make sure, resign a third time. Nothing else will do. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.